So here I am going to do the next question. We have 5 to the power x plus 1 is equal to 26 minus 5 to the power 1 minus x. So I, I can write 5 power x plus 1 is 5 power x into 5 to the power 1. And we know that 5 power 1 is also 5, so I can leave it as 5 only here. So it goes to 26 minus 5 power 1 minus x in middle is 5 power 1 into 5 to the power minus x. Or 5 power x into 5 equals to 26 minus. We know 5 power 1 is 5, so we can write here 5. And 5 power minus x can be written as 1 over 5 power x. So this is by the rule of indices. The rule of indices says that x to the power minus 1 can be written as 1 by x. This was, uh, this you should know this one. How does this happen? You should also be able to know that. x to the power one uh, minus 1 can be written as 1 by x. x to the power minus 2 can be written as 1 by x squared. So similarly, if you have 5 with the power minus x, then you can write here 1, 5 power x. You can write this way. So these are some illustrations. You should know the logic. Why does this happen? So this can be, this might have been explained by your teacher in the school. But here we are mostly considered with problem solving skill. So you should know that 5 to the power minus 1 is written as 1 by 5 to the power x. Now I can suppose 5 power x to be any variable. I am supposing this to be an a right now. So I can replace 5 power x by a here. Equals to 26 minus 5 1 is 5. And I can write 5 power x and is a. Now 5 into a gives us 5a. Okay. If you get this minus 5 by a before the equal to it is plus 5 by a. If you think to get this plus 26 before the equal to it becomes to be minus 26 equals to 0. I got both of the terms on the right hand side in the left hand side and I changed their sign as well. Now I can take LCM as an A. So now when I take LCM, now I can multiply A with the 5A so I can get here 5A squared. I am taking an LCM and simplifying. A and A, the denominator and numerator are the denominator and the LCM is same. So this is the case for writing the numerator also same. I don't see the denominator here, so the denominator is 1. So when the denominator is 1, the LCM multiplies the numerator. So A, LCM, multiplying with the numerator 26. So I'll get here 26A equals to 0. Now I can uh, arrange the term 5A squared minus 26A plus 5 equals to when I cross one, I can get A is into 0 as in 0. Now I have to factorize it. So 5 into 5 is 25. 5 into 5 is 25. I have two numbers which when multiply gives us 25, which when added gives us 26. The numbers are 25 and 1. So 25 into 1 is 25, 25 plus 1 is 26. Why am I looking for plus? Because the last sign here is plus. So I have two sum sum of which multiply gives us 25, and which when added gives us 26. So I can write here as 5a squared minus the numbers are 25 and 1. So in place of this 26, I can write here 25 and 1 a plus 5 equals to 0 or 5 is square minus 25 into a gives us 25 a minus into plus gives us minus 1 into a gives us a plus 5 equals to 0 now I can take 5 a common from the first two terms and I'll have left as a minus 5 I can take one common from the last two terms, minus one common from the last two terms, and I will have here a minus five x equals to zero. Now I can again take a minus five common. I'll have five a minus one left then, it's equals to zero. Now these are some of the things that you have learned in your previous classes. So I didn't spend a lot of time in explaining you these steps. So now I have we have two possibilities here. Either we can say that a minus five equals to zero. So I'm getting this minus 5 after the equal to and 0 plus 5 gives us 5 and what how we have supposed here is 5 power x to be as an a. 5 power x is a here. So in place of this a I'm going to write a 5 power x and 5 with the power 1. So the base here are same and the rule of indices says that if the bases are same, if the bases are same and if you have equal to sign in between the power will also be equal. So the exponent here x and exponent on the right hand side 1, they both are equal. We also have the next possibility. The next possibility is 5a minus 1 being goes to 0. And when I take this minus 1 after the equal, it becomes plus 1. Or 
a equals to 1 by 5. In place of this a, we can write a 5 to the power x. And we know that 1 by 5 is 5 to the power minus 1. 1 by 5 is 5 power minus 1. So this also by the rule of the indices, uh, if we can assume x power minus 1, if x power minus 1 is 1 by x, then 1 by 5 is also 5 power minus 1. So this is how I have interlinked this. So here 1 by 5 can be written as 5 with the power minus 1. The bases here are same. So the exponent will also be equal x equals to minus 1. So this is the value of x. So we can say that x equals to either 1 or minus 1. So this is the way to do the problem. I hope everyone is clear regarding the, every one of you are clear regarding these things. Thank you.